not only do you hear the jungle, the life forces, the buzzing, the animals, the crickets, you feel them, their position, but more importantly, their connection through their life forces that emulates through noise, almost like the jungle. It has a heartbeat, like a song, this droning of the insectoids, this swaying and creaking of large plants and such swaying in the wind, the stone cold silence of the mountain peaks, the life force that connects them all has a vibe, which you can hear underneath the actual ambient noise of the jungle. And right before you think you're going to turn purple, he pulls his suction cup away and points at you and slowly raises his arm up and looks up towards the sky like a way. And he's looking away into the clouds. He suddenly looks back at you and slaps a suction cup hand on your shoulder and a whole flood of pushing on your mind, seeing distance, peril, betrayal, camaraderie, love, hate, passion, fear, death, future. And then he just seems sad and slowly gets up, begins walking away towards the edge of the canopy, leaving you with all these imprints, these centered feeling word thoughts. The only way that he can communicate with you, connecting directly with you for such a long time, you kind of get the idea that he maybe was meditating. He made the power that he actually was using was the far-seeing power. Okay. A prophecy, a warning, not exactly a great pep talk, and then just <laughs> yeah. sadness. Yeah. And the old man gets up and shambles over to the edge and drops out of sight, leaving you alone on the top of this thing. What do you do? Well, he's first going to stop crying. Um, he tried to kill me. He tried to choke me. <laughs> You no. don't love me. You <laughs> don't love me. 